Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss about KNN algorithm that is uh, K nearest neighbor uh, algorithm. Already algorithm I have explained in my uh, previous videos. Today we are going to solve the problem using KNN. So here we know actually what is K here. Here the algorithm will classify a new instance by determining the uh, K most similar instances and summarize the output of those K instances. So here we have given 8 uh, instances in the sample data set and we have 3 attribute values that is uh, 3 independent uh, variables CGPA assessment and project and we have one dependent uh, variable that is the output result. So result can be pass or fail. Now I have to identify where my test instance falls under the category pass or it falls under the category fail. My target variable what should be here. So here whatever the test instance has been given, consider it has variables x1, y1 and z1. k is the number of neighbors we have to consider, the nearest neighbors we have to consider to classify this test instance to the category pass or the fail. To compute this in KNN algorithm, we make use of Euclidean distance. So already we know what is the formula for Euclidean distance that is uh, from the uh, given uh, graph what is the distance from the test instance to the training sample data set? From the test instance to the training's or nearest neighbors. So you have to identify that distance. So the distance from our test instance to the training sample uh, data set is computed with the help of Euclidean distance. So what, what we have to do here is from, the from each neighboring point from the test instance to the training test instance is given here, we have to compute the Euclidean distance. So to compute the Euclidean distance, this is a formula we are using that is square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square plus we have added here z because we have third column, third attribute. So for that attribute we have taken as z. So z2 minus z1 the whole square. So here what is this x1, y1, z1? x1, y1, z1 are nothing but our test instances. This difference from test instance to the training instance. So training set, in, how many samples we have trained here? 8 samples. So here all these will be what my, this is my x2, this will be my y2 and this will be my z2. So substituting this formula x2 minus x1, x2 minus x1 means x2 is 9.2 and y1 is what? 6.1. So substituting the equation 9.2 minus 6.1 plus y2 minus y1. What is my y2 here? It is 85 for this instance. 85 minus 40. 85 minus 40 the whole square. Plus z2 minus z1 the whole square. Z2 what I have here? 8. 8 minus 5 the? 8 minus 5 the whole square. So if I compute that, I will get 45.20. So here the distance, Euclidean distance for the first instance we computed as 45.20. Similarly, for all the remaining uh, uh, seven instance also, we have to calculate the Euclidean distance. Suppose I want to calculate the Euclidean distance for the second instance. So that is, I want to calculate the Euclidean distance for second instance here. So what is my x2 here? So here, my x2 will be, so here, what is my x2 here? x2 is 8. 8 minus my test instance will be 6.1. 8 minus 6.1 the whole square plus 80. 80 minus 40 the whole square plus I have to find the square root of all this. Plus 7 minus 5. 7 minus 5 the whole square. So I am computing the Euclidean distance for the second instance. So if I calculate this I will get 40.09. So this is my Euclidean distance for the second instance. Likewise, you have to calculate the Euclidean distance for all of the remaining instances. So what we should do, we have to calculate the Euclidean distance for each instances. So I calculated the uh, Euclidean distance like how I have shown for all the eight instances. So after calculating the next stage, we have to see the nearest neighbors. So nearest neighbors where when k value is equal to 3. So who are the neighbors with least value who is near to that? See one instance, the seventh instance I have 
and eighth instance I have five of uh, eighth instance I have that is fifty one point two, and if you see my fifth instance I have ten point zero five, and fourth instance five point zero one. Remaining one to three, if you see, if you have forty one, forty, forty five, which is uh, which is far away from our test instance. So who are the nearest to neighbors? Who are near to, uh, K three neighbors? Who are near to our test instances? Test instance four and five, and next is seven. So if you sort them in order, uh, ascending order, you will come to know who are the three neighbors who are uh, near to that instance based on the Euclidean distance. So here it is two point zero, five point zero zero one, and ten. So these are the three nearest neighbors who are close to our test instance. Okay, so now if you observe the class of this uh, four, it is fail, and five also it is fail, ten point two, and two point zero two. If you observe the seventh instance, it is also fail. So here to predict the test class, in the, we have to see the majority vote. So here majority of the test instances, if you observe, all are fail only. So our test instance now, our test instance six point. Uh, The six point one, six point one comma forty comma five. This test instance falls under the result category fail because the three neighbors what we have considered all are predicting it as fail. So our test instance also test instance also falls under the category fail. So here this how we uh, compute the nearest neighbor of our test instance. Hope you have understood. Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel.